that's your key to funding. Yeah. I think the 501c3 is 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 going to be a ways down the road from. That's that's the 501c3 is a volunteer, would, would be a volunteer organization under contract with the city kind of thing. What we're talking about is establishing a, well, part of what we're talking about is, is is establishing a kind of a framework, uh, the city's own master plan, to give us a, a, a format to engage with volunteer organization. We've got to have some kind of understanding of what the city's relationship with uh, a volunteer organization is going to be. We can't. We can't continue uh, to act to to, to act uh, you know without coordination with each other. Um, so the city has to first establish its own uh, master plan once again in conjunction with volunteer groups or volunteer our volunteer group citizens uh, as well and. Then once we have defined what what the city wants, you know, um, and that using those tools and that play in it, you know, we we are better off. And we're in a better position to engage a volunteer group that might want to become a 501c3 and implement that master plan, um, and and otherwise manage the forest ways we might uh, later define. Okay. Um, I, I think Adam did an excellent job explaining the, uh, the different facets of this discussion and the uh, 501c3 is, is not critical in any way. That, that merely has to do with other, um, other groups developing programs that would make use of the area itself, the way I understand it. So I just wanted to get clear here. So is the discussion a plan, a, essentially a design plan with design with, with design features on the property, or are we talking about a plan for how to get other how to how to get community engagement at the? Oh no, I think the community engagement would be part of the way that we would. Would come up with a. We would encourage the council to come up with a, with a master plan. Uh, I think the term master plan is what Yeah, I don't know what it means. Yeah. Well, it would include uh, landscape architecture. It means you've got a master plan. Yeah, no. Go ahead. Yeah. So I mean, in that in, in that regard, when I think of a master, maybe it's just because I've done environmental consulting for so much of my life, but the idea of a master plan is something that's graphical. And, yeah, I, yeah. And, 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 and it is something that is created by a person with uh, particular expertise yeah. in that field, yeah. in this field. So yeah. uh, that's not something that I personally have yeah. experience with. So I guess I'm not sure how, how I'd be able to contribute to that. Yeah. And, and uh, I'm sorry, that's uh, what I think of as a conceptual master plan, kind of, uh, which could be a part of this, would, would be a part of it. What we would consider. What's the time frame on that? I think the other aspects of a master plan are going to be in, in, you know, uh, in terms of a vision, justifying that vision, and uh, setting our setting our cells as a city on course with uh, the friendship for us. Do you want to? Just that I think we need to establish goals and objectives. Yes. What we, what we want and what we want to do with the public input. I mean, no, well, yes, exactly. I'm, with you. I, I'm just not tracking. I really, I mean, I'm not trying to. Double plan. No, I just, I really don't understand what this looks. What's a deliverable here? What are we producing? Yes, yeah, so that's, that's, that, that's the other thing that Adam had pointed out is that we've got three or four different landscape master plans that have been submitted and developed over a period of years. Um, Many of those. I don't see where, where this is really going either. I mean, I, I like to get community involvement. That's why we've got this uh, uh, community garden going in at the, uh, at the one part at the front. And that hopefully will lead 
people to participate more in the park as we do develop what plans we already have. Um, this is kind of caught me off guard to um, be talking about a master plan on a park that we've already developed several master plans on. So I, well, I, I'm sorry. I'm at a loss here. I yeah, so. I, I don't. Go ahead. I think um, the deliverable would be for us to decide like one of those do like the recreational, do we want it to be a sanctuary, 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 do we want it to be a sanct
Uh, hopefully you read it. And um, we pretty much have done everything on that report. So I was figuring that that report is a pretty consensus, you know, plan for the sanctuary. And, uh, you know, that was the reason why we took out the tennis court, why we took out the basketball court, because it was on that report, you know. Everything that the Friends of Friendship Force has done has been a guideline on that report. We follow that report to the T. And um, as we move on into the future at this point right now, um, of course the city doesn't want to, you know, it seems to me that there's not that much interest from you guys into the force. But as we've been growing as a volunteer group, we've got a lot of interest. And um, we think it's time for us to just let you know what we offer, you know. And I wrote you that letter to tell you what we offer. And I think that if you read that letter and looked at the goals, I could do all that stuff. But I'm not going to waste any more of my time because I don't have much time. And um, only if you guys would come to an agreement that we could be sort of like a partner. And what I listed was just a, a small amount of things that we would work towards. But those things are outrageous, and those things are things that, as a volunteer group, we would handle most of it ourselves. All right? And ever since our last volunteer um, effort out in Fort the mayor was there, and um, we had 500 people from all over the world come to Clarkston. 50 of them were in the forest. Um, you know, we, we have grown. I've got a lot of nonprofits that want to help us. Um, like I said, we could have four volunteer public work days with 60 people to do little projects and to take care of that list, that little checklist that we have. Because right now, you know, we've got the pavement up. We've got that pile of rubble. You guys voted to approve that we remove it. After that, that's pretty much all the infrastructure that we need to do. From here on out, it seems like to me, in this part of the design, it's what you call it, fleshing out. So to flesh it out, it's like, you know, it's not asking for a lot of resources from you guys. I'm not asking for anything from you guys because we've had to do it go alone in the long run. Keith tried to help, um, you know, get you guys to um, help us out over there because while the rest of the city is being developed, the forest has been neglected. You know, and, um, and and we feel that you know Keith's done as much as he could, and this is our this is our how can I say it? Proposal. This is our proposal. Yes, you know, sir. and so either um, you guys accept it, or you don't. Um, well, you know, yeah, and we Martha and I will always be caretakers of the forest. It is our backyard. Um, when we see a fire in there, we know that there's a neighbor living there. We have to go in there and figure it out, you know. We ask for support from you guys, but we haven't gotten it, you know. So all we're saying is that, hey, if you guys want to throw the load on us, we'll take it. But if you don't, then we, we can't waste any more time here, you know, because what I'm offering you guys is like a way to develop the forest, a way to get all the plans done. I've got architects that will do the bridges, AIA certified. I mean, everything's in order. I've got nonprofits that will help us with the fundraising. I've got nonprofits who will help us with the volunteer, who will supply all the materials that we need. We will not have to burden the city for wheelbarrows or anything like that. We've got a you know partnership with the tool bank. I mean, so we're either gonna go into the future or we're just gonna let it be. All right, you guys. So. If you read the, the letter that I gave you, I think that um, as just two regular citizens of the city, I think we've done a lot for that force. Okay. And we would like to have some kind of support, whether it just be moral support, you know? I'm not asking for much, you know? But I would like, to, like for us to come to a consensus that we define the forest as a bird sanctuary and, steep, and stop calling it a park. It's not for recreational use. It's not for athletic pursuits, it's more for natural pursuits. And you'll find that even though you guys think that no one goes in the forest, there's a lot of people go there. And they go there for intrinsic value, just like if you go hiking or if you go to nature. You don't really want to see a lot of people playing soccer. You know, you just want to hike a trail and get your solitude. And there's a lot of intrinsic value in that. Maybe, um, you know, I could talk to you until I'm blue in the face, but I'm hoping that I didn't wouldn't have to really explain okay. that value. Yeah. All right, thank you, man. Go ahead, uh, uh, Jan. Uh, uh, no, but not, go ahead. 
Yeah. I want to, uh, I'm definitely going to. Make, make it fast. Back. Okay. You know what? I'm going to take my time okay. because we put three years into this. I understand. So that. I'm sorry it's a long convenient. Uh, first of all, I think what's going to go back in up, as far as like we keep hearing like, what, how is the public going to be involved? What are we going to do with the public in the forest? The public uses the forest. They're in it all the time. That's why we started working on it. Just in this past week, I met several people in the forest. One guy studies mushrooms and fungus. He goes there to study the specimens in the forest. He told me there's a lot of medicinal mushrooms in it. All kinds of stuff. There's people that walk through it. Um, like Vin was saying, communal with nature. A lot of kids are in it. I go in there. I personally have put over a thousand hours 